Welcome back guys to part 6 of Daybreak V2 My name is Sablin and uh, Today We're gonna start on Applied Energistics So as you can see here I have made certain changes to my Project E First of all is now my Energy Condensers Mark 2 I have a double compressor Torinos with 4 Compressor Torinos and Mark 3 Energy Collector. Now, I did see in the last part I wanted to go all the way to Mark 7 or at least starting Auxilium equivalents. But in my preparation for this part, uh, Auxilium equivalents in a way mm, corrupts my save file. Well, it, it, well, the entity itself, anything related to Auxilium equivalents will crash my game. All this the wall itself every time okay so i was upgrading to mark 4 and as soon as i placed down the mark 4 energy collector my game crashed and i couldn't load into the world until i removed the mod so i rolled back the, the the save file a little bit and i went to change back to mark 3 so and uh, i wanted and also add a thinkers here because i felt like thinkers we probably need thinkers for energy. Okay, so first of all, we have to get something related to apply energy. I forgot what's it called. To be honest, it could be. I ah right here. It's Crybra. Okay, so this is the annoying part. So we need to get a Flux crystal. So to get a Flux crystal, drop one charge thirty squats. One nether quartz and one redstone dust into a puddle next to one another and wait a moment to receive two fluix crystals. Not bad. So let me just having like let me I must say but spreading charge right is a bit annoying. So I'm gonna leave all those items there because uh we do not need any more than that. Can be slightly annoying. So we need Ah, uh, I forgot. So, to craft a pier, we need this, obviously. But you know, we don't, we don't need that. So we need one, one, and one. Okay. So, a puddle of water. What exactly does it mean to be a puddle of water? I mean, does this count? It does. <laughs> nice. I think mods that does that is really 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 amazing because it doesn't like rely on a block particular with energy it, it like, what it requires is the wall itself like creating an iron golem four four blocks of iron four blocks of iron and one pumpkin and boom suddenly you create the you create the entity it's amazing same with this so i'm gonna just like put a couple items there and nah, voila we have a bunch of items here okay so so to create an inscriber we need two sticky pistons and a slime ball rice slime ball see we have rice slime ball if i'm not wrong so to make a sticky piston we need two pistons to begin with run out wood no matter recipe for this create another one recipe for this boom boom recipe for this boom voila put it there okay so i don't know i'm gonna put it right here hmm this uh maybe slightly different than I expected. Okay. I need to relearn what I did last time because I didn't face this issue last okay, so let's see. Capacity mm, Ah, you know what I'm a dumbass. <laughs> I, I, I was like, wait a minute. Uh I never even turn on my generator and I expect power to just come out of nowhere. Yeah. About right. Okay. We want okay, so I need to adjust the power since I don't want uh, too much power. 
So I'm not going to reduce everything to just... Uh... With 90% on two rods, only 100% on the rest. Uh, no, 90% on the rest. Okay. So let's start. Auto jet with activate reactor. So we are creating about. Uh, when at the end, 450, you know, 400, 500. Yeah, it's about 500. So if you put it here, no, it this uh oh, it's power, it's power contains energy. Okay, nice. Okay, so okay, okay, okay shit. Uh, mm, okay, I did not. Okay, don't want to waste energy right now. We need to first get an Emmy controller. So it's a very cool looking thing, to be honest. Right there. So to get Emmy controller, we need. Okay, so we first need Sky Stone. To get Sky Stone, we need. Ah, ah! Look at that! I obtained Sky Stone. I did not know I needed that, but uh, you know, it's amazing. Okay, so first we need. In silicon with sil silicon, I did not obtain silicon if I am not wrong. <laughs> uh, the, hmm. I did not obtain silicon, did I? There was a, a mistake on my end. Is there any way to obtain silicon? We need to go find ourselves some silicon if we... In... How did I not find this silicon? Okay, so for the meantime, I'm gonna just... I know it's... I'm gonna deactivate the reactor for now. Ooh. We need to go find us some silicon, man. Okay, down into mines. Let's let's go. Let's go find another cave. So if we look in here, right there in the forest. I think that should be. I don't. I don't think silicon should be hard to find. I mean, it wasn't. It didn't. It wasn't that hard for me to find last time when I played it. You no, know, like I mean, last time in you know, a whole year ago. Not the previous time we played it in the in the in the previous series when my goddamn world was <laughs> me. Okay, so this does not lead to anywhere. Okay, we got this, and I did not bring torches. Amazing. Never mind. Okay, so first of all is that we need to find silicon somehow, some way. This shall be ah. We got. I didn't, I didn't really bring blocks today. I was wholly unprepared for this. Uh, did I mention last time that andesite, granite, and uh, diorite were like the worst blocks to be added into Minecraft? Like, I think every mod pack in general should have like, should have, every mod pack out there should just have a mod that just removes diorite, andesite, and granite. Because it's just, just disgusting. It's just like, it's just not. Nah, it's just not good to look at. We have the we have one point thirteen update, man. Like concrete, and we had um, terracotta. Like all those blocks, good enough. You know what I mean? Like get like the thing is right. These blocks are useless. They don't. They're not used for anything. Like, like you, I, you, you could say they somewhat look nice. Like you could, but they don't. We're not there yet. I feel like there is we're slightly over here. Okay, time to find ourselves some silicon. We need silicon. We didn't hit the ravine, but uh this should be good enough. Oh wow. God damn it. What? God damn. 
I really do not know what silicon look like to be honest. I do not know where silicon spawns. I had hoped to meet it to be honest, but uh I do not know what it is. I wow What the hell is that? Why is there so many creepers? There were like four, man. What the hell? Oh, right there. Nice. You can just like hold the fire a little bit. Like, I know. I know you want to beat me, like, but hold up, man. Why did I not pick up silicon earlier, man? It's like, it just, it would just save me a lot of trouble. Yo, what's up? Surprised you didn't die there. Well, thank you for the silicon, and uh, I mean, I guess I could hit out by here. Oh, I could hit up, but oh, actually, either way, it doesn't really matter. It is still daytime, and I would love to make it home in daytime. Okay, so I remember I came from here, right here, yeah, right here. It's just great that we don't have to find more silicon. You know, Project E it just saves a lot of time in general. I had, like, it's just a lot of time saved, and it's amazing. But how a mod like that could just change the game. And it's not broken by any means. Because some items do not have an EMC value. So they fundamentally fundamentally cannot be duplicated. Though, obviously, you could just add an EMC value to it. And then how broken uh, the game is depends on you. Okay. So we need back to apply. Uh, no. And our just sticks emmy controller. Okay, so we need in silicon with silicon. So yeah, silicon. Right, I'm just gonna take like all the silicon here. So and we need the uh, silicon brush. Yep. We just sleep first. Okay, you have one point. I got damn it, one point six. So that should last me quite a bit. Boom, look at that. So how much energy is taking? Ah. Boom. Okay, so we can just Actually I'm not I'm not gonna duplicate that. I'm just like if I need to create more, I'll create more. How about that? Let's take one of each. Okay, so next up we need a diamond with an engineering. Let me take a race of course. Okay. So, an uh, engineering plus a diamond. Does it take... Oh yeah, I forgot. This uh, I have energy here, so... Doesn't really matter. Hey, look at that. And we got one item that we needed, which is nice. So, we don't need the rest here. The... Can I put in anything else in here? No, I cannot. Well, the rest of you go in. Oh, I can. Oh. Oh, guys. Oh, ho, ho. look at that. XP for days. Infinite XP. But it takes forever to consume. Obviously, but hey, I'm not complaining. Okay, so next thing we need is sky stone, which is we did have a bit of sky stone that I picked up. Right, yeah, right here. So we just need to duplicate. I, you know, yeah, can, can be 
That's too much, but uh, nothing I can do about that. So, I remember it's two for a stack. That's just the power of this, so. Don't need a lot, but uh, we just want to smell a bunch of them. So, we need four, right? Yeah, we need four. Okay, next, we need a photogenic insulator to get ourselves this. So, or we could do this, drop fluid seed made from fluid dust and sand into a pot of water to make this one would take quite a long time it really does so but we're gonna do this i guess instead so fluid seed flu fluid seed made from fluid dust and uh so let me just obviously a machine frame a machine frame we need thin so we have thin if i'm not wrong yeah we have thin right here so just smelt this in ah got flint nice pick it the shit out of this okay now now we can treat them pulverizer and put it right here look at that we put it in here We have more, right? Yeah, we have more. Boom! Ah, oh, my god. Okay. And so, we need a fluid seed made from a fluid. So, we need sand. And, uh... Then, uh, into a fluid seed made from fluid and a sand in the puddle of water. It should, like, accelerate like it's no one's business. I hope. I can't even tell if it's really doing anything or not. <laughs> it can be quite slow. You know what? Yeah, f it, man. Like, screw it. We're just gonna do, we're gonna do the other way. Okay. Well, time to create this, and we need aluminum. To get aluminum, we need we need thinkers. We we need thinkers. Okay, so in a uh, in a uh, casting, we need which is alloying glowstone, tin, and silver. So we need to start thinkers first. Well, this is uh unfortunate, but uh, yes, we need we need pure. No way around that. We need pure. Okay, so before we end off the episode, because I mean I think we've gone this for a bit too long already. Mm. Let's just get ourselves the remaining items here. So, with thin, I don't know what I'm doing. Boom. And so then we have everything but lumium. Okay, so we have everything we need for a full phytogenic insulator, except. Lumium. So let's just grab resources for thinkers then. So we need seared. No, sorry. Seared bricks. We've done this before. Just need to do it again. So we need sand, we need gravel, and we need clay, which I don't think I'll obtain, to be honest. It's night time already. Let's sleep. Let's obtain clay. It's definitely. Yeah, over there. Right? That's clay, right? Uh, dude, I'm so hungry right now. But, uh, gotta finish this. this gonna. I have to finish this recording first. Okay, so we just need 
1, right? So 1, 4, and 4. And we got 8, which is nice. We can put the rest back in. Okay, so we just need to create ourselves seal bricks. We should duplicate a little bit more than that, huh? And uh, let's create ourselves all the necessary materials we shall, we shall build it in the next part. So, next thing we need is a controller. So, where is it? At Thinkers Controller. Some controller. So, we just create this. Let's create tanks, which we need. Let's just take four, why not? And then we need a drain, which we need two. Then a false set, which we need two. Then we need to, yeah, we don't have enough for that. So let's just, you guessed it, to play Gator stack. Oh, we know we have it here. Nice. So then we need ourselves a casting basin and a casting table. Uh, we shall create more drains. I think having more drains would be nice. Having more faucets would be nice. Having more casting basin and uh man this requires a lot of resources man ah uh, if project e wasn't here to help what would i do man and then we need uh no no no, no. we have enough for that with three of that so we need casting table okay so we have 64 we just need buckets of lava and uh yeah we're good Okay, so we started on Applied Logistics and Thinker. So Thinkers and Applied Logistics shall be completed next part. Thermals, in a way, we have started it. We have we we can start it, but we cannot go all the way yet. So none. Ah, Project X, something I've completely ignored. So with since I probably explained to you in the last part that since we were going Project X this time. Uh, we shall start on at least the first one. Yeah, I should at least touch on everything. So, so one trillion right here. We shall create this first. Oh. Oh. What is this? Interesting, interesting. Well, okay, so we need, we don't have any of that. Oh yeah, put it here. So we need a furnace. Oh, how fast did this duplicate? 19. Okay, that's not, that's not too much. That's great. Mark 2. Nice. Okay, so dark matter collect. Oh. Red matter collector. We need that so this one should shouldn't... oh yes that one takes forever red matter so magenta oh my god well yeah we start on it at least so we have touched on all all the four things so i should be able to first i shall prepare thinkers in between episodes and then you'll be done our and then we can start and then we'll start preparing the stuff for applying logistics and then after the applying logistics we should start on our because one thing i did not i did not foresee which i should really plan out ahead first is the need for the energy supply to really spread out because as you can see here right how i'm getting energy from a reactor to to my machines is just from directly placing the block on the red power tab red uh, was it was it actually called i forgot what's it called i know it's a power tab at least 
Redstone flux power tab. So redstone flux power tab. Just but you know, I don't want to place all my blocks on the reactor itself. I want to be place it uh right here. So we need energy conduits or anything similar to that. So we're gonna start that next episode as well after we completed our applying logistics. And I thought I tell you just setting up applying logistics is quite quite it's gonna be quite a pain. So next episode we may only be able to complete Thinkers uh applying logistics and Possibly Project uh, X. We actually may not be able to start. Actually, I don't think we're able to start thermal mods anytime soon yet. Um, yeah, but that's the part. So that's what we're gonna do in part seven. Okay, so that's it for for part six, guys. Uh, we have done quite a bit actually. I think we have. Well, actually, maybe maybe we have not, but we have gotten ourselves a pulverizer and inscriber. Gotten quite started on thinkers in a way. Created uh created a mark tree collector. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gotten ourselves a fluix crystal, uh energy engineering processor silicon. I uh, think it's pretty good for for this part, guys. So stay tuned for part seven. I'll see you guys there. Till then, bye bye. <laughs> So tired, man. I'm so hungry. I so. saw. Hey, hey, hey. So goddamn hungry. This is a